What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm doing some half day feel spreads for all the signs. I'm on the earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hope everyone's doing well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. How does this person feel? I feel like there's a cycle that needs to end with um, some of you and the person you're dealing with, but you don't really want to end it because you feel like this person is supposed to be, like meant to be with you, so you're having a hard time. So the bottom is the Page of Swords. Could be a conversation. Um, I feel like someone's just basically paying like a lot of attention someone could be like what like stalking your social media or like sending you a message um i feel like you have something that you want to say but you haven't said it yet or maybe it's like you're wanting to communicate but you haven't king of cups lovers and the six of wands so you guys definitely um, have love for someone that you see them as your soulmate, like your better half. Um, but maybe what you've noticed is they're getting a lot of attention or you don't want them to have attention or you want them to give you more attention. I see if there is a court case, um, things being done evenly across the board. It's not really saying whether or not it's going to go in your favor, but I do see it being even. And then there's this new beginning but I feel like someone's still kind of stuck to this situation in the past um, because this is who someone wants. Like this is when you think about someone that you want to be with, that's the person that you think about. Taurus, you have the Empress. So this could be, I feel like someone walked away from you. Someone could be a baby mama, someone could be pregnant now. But I feel like this person's like, walking away but she's looking back as she's walking away like you had the strength card the nine of wands nine of swords and the ten of swords so this was pretty painful for somebody when this ended and now when it comes to you making a move towards anything new you're really guarded to this you've been hurt a lot um Someone caused you a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, not being able to sleep. This is like depression, but I feel like there's an end to this now. So there's like a need for you guys to kind of um, find your strength, take your strength back, especially if it was a toxic situation, knowing that all this bad shit's over with. Um, you could have a new beginning with someone in your life, but I feel like you're so guarded um, because of the way things ended with another person in your life, or you're still in the process of this all ending, that... Or maybe this person, you know, is guarded to you because of the things that happened in the past. But I just feel like someone's, like, taking their sweet-ass time coming forward. Um, someone wants to have a conversation, but there's a lot of um, fights. There's other people involved. Um, could be children. Somebody could be partying it up a little bit too much. I feel like someone could have been in jail. Someone could be just mentally conflicted overall when it comes to this because... Of whatever reason but you feel like this is your person this is this is it for you and maybe you kind of been watching paying attention to the fool card so you want to have this new beginning with this person you want to tell them how much you care about them how much you like have these feelings like maybe it's a new relationship but here we go um stubborn as fuck not moving stuck in your ways this could be this person as well but this is the counterpart this is someone that is the other half of you and there is a new beginning here but i feel like someone's emotions are either closed or they're not they shut this shit down because it could have been options it could have been someone's failure to make a choice between two people because i see the queen of cups and the queen of wands and then the knight of pentacles <laughs> slowly dragging ass coming in maybe you need to make a decision about what person that is you want Maybe you don't want any other person to have this person, but you kind of have to clean up the mess with someone that you don't really love anymore. Maybe you sleep with them sometimes, or 
This could have been a past situation, but you still need to make a decision about what it is that you want. And you haven't. You're still kind of juggling maybe this person is. I feel like one of these, like she's open to this, but she's not really going to be coming in after you because she feels like you're going through something that you needed to go through or vice versa. Maybe something needs to close out, something needs to be ended. But I don't think that being completely um, guarded and closed off to people is going to get you this new beginning even though someone wants to so I feel like if this person did walk away from you she's looking back because she still wants this new beginning with you but she knows that there's things that need to change um maybe investing more time into this person into this situation um going about it the right way um if this person truly makes you happy then kind of you know speaking up but I feel like someone's definitely went through karma in the last however many months but this person makes you happy so I'm just like and she's like waiting for you to do something this is the wish comes true for some of you guys but it's like you buried it though because you got your heart broken because someone played a lot of mind games because the last time you tried to love somebody shit didn't work out so maybe you're just like trying to be financially stable and you still love them though. This is the person that, this is like a wish come true for you. This is the person that makes you happy. Or maybe this is what you need to know about them. That's how they feel about you. But you need to make a choice and you know something has to end and you need to maybe communicate the choice that you've made or make a final decision and make the, take the action behind it. Virgo, you have the King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys are creeping on somebody too, but this person is very um, non-emotional. <laughs> like maybe you're spending a lot of time with this person. Maybe you guys have had fights or something in the past. Um, but I feel like there's something that you're holding on to or someone that's holding on to you that kind of still has a toxic tie and there might be something that needs to be cleared up. Um, I see uh, medical issues for someone that they might need to look into. The Nine of Cups, this is what you want. You want this person but they bury their emotions because of heartbreak or maybe you're doing that but there is still kind of some mind games or mental conflict when it comes to this because you guys have both been hurt in this situation and um, you're not really sure how you should feel about this person. You want them to get help. You want them to be able to be open about their feelings but you're not really sure how you should feel because they're, you're not sure how they feel. But this is you kind of knowing that there's some things that you have to go through especially when you're if this is a committed relationship or a marriage. You guys are going through some things that they need that you know they need to go to go through. Maybe there's a cycle that needed to end and maybe it's figuring out what makes you happy. Like what makes Virgo happy, not what makes everyone else happy. If you've been waiting for a job offer in the medical field, I do see that happening here as well. Maybe a raise. If you're thinking about going to school for medical things, maybe a veterinarian. I, re I think that's a good idea. Some of you guys are really good with animals. Some of you guys just want to know that someone has your back when you start things in a new way because it's like you've been here long enough, um, you want things to be even. You want this person to show you the same loyalty that you've shown them. Same with your job. Instead of walking away and not talking about their feelings but at the same time still kind of wanting attention from other people still kind of not really letting that ego die and maybe not talking about the fact that they talk to other people, listen to other people, something along that line. Communicating what it is that they truly want instead of being manipulative and doing shady shit behind your back. Because for some of you this is a soulmate and you know that but you need things to be even in order for you to want to be in this and someone's all about attention. Someone is well, I do see a raise or getting recognition at your job. It's just going to be really slow moving right now. So if there's competition for this job or this position, you're fine. Just something you need to know. 
Capricorn, you have the Ace of Cups. And a little fishy jumping out the water. Are we in our feels or not? Nah? Page of Swords sending a message, paying attention, Googling something, maybe symptoms. Ace of Cups. You have a lot of feelings. I feel like you've been trying to hold them in. But for some reason, they're coming out and you're scared of this. You want it, but you don't. It's like, um, <laughs> those two little siblings that are like fighting, you're like, I'm not touching you. You know what I mean? Like you don't want it to get too close to you. Like there's a lot of mental conflict around what you should do. Cause there's a new beginning, something you wanted to try or you are trying, but you're confused or you're like psyching yourself out. If, if this is going to come in for you or if this is the person that's for you, even though you know already. I think some of you guys are moving towards this. You just want things to be financially stable um, before you... It's really bothering you. You think it's just money or knowing like who really has your back because you're holding on to something, but you still want this communication with this person, but you're just like... Maybe you're not talking to this person and um, you guys maybe have gotten in a fight but it's like someone has their guard up like you know someone doesn't talk about their feelings someone has an idea of what they want but their mind always reverts to this heartbreak and what if they're talking to other people what if they cheat on me what if they're lying possibly could have gotten fucked all the way up from a Libra this person knows what they want and they do have these feelings for you but neither one of you are talking about it maybe someone's more focused on finding material gain to be happy maybe there needs to be a balance between um, emotions and thoughts and money but I just feel like there's some conflict whether it's other people I kind of feel like for some of you it is even though you really want to talk to this person you want to tell them like you want to pour your heart out it's like you feel like this person should make the effort and come towards you because you're not really sure what they want to do or what you know what you should do either. Even though you get a lot of attention or this person gets a lot of attention, you don't like that, I don't think, or vice versa. You're scared of getting your heart broken again. So you bury your emotions and you are guarded to talking about them you come off as cool calm and collected like eh. but I do see something ending and then there being a conversation maybe with a Scorpio about feelings there just needs to be a mutual effort on both sides and I feel like it's going to come in unexpectedly and this person's going to be like thrown off but I feel like this person will be here for you or vice versa because you guys are kind of um, both really low-key powerful and um, you're both like stressed out about the same things just like in different parts like I feel like you're mirroring each other you just want someone to kind of take the lead in this because you're not really sure what you should do you're trying to figure it out but it's like really confusing for you because maybe there's a baby or there's new emotions and there's anxiety involved in this because you're like I don't know if this is real or if it's a fantasy but this person even though I know I care about them what will they choose what decision will they make because they haven't really and it's just like you don't know if things are going to be stable if there's going to be a relationship if this is going to move forward and I think that there will definitely but it's that not knowing that's fucking you up so you're just like can they make a decision can they just be like I choose you like Pikachu choose you you just want someone to be like listen I want to be with you I want to make this work and oh, shit attraction just flew out Taurus Virgo Ooh. flirt okay someone we attracted to we're going to be flirting with them I think that it's just saying live in the moment, you know, if you're attracted to someone and you're flirting with them, like roll with it. It's safe for you to love, Capricorn. It's 
It's really hard for some of you guys to let go of the past. But someone just wants you to decide once and for all what it is that you want. You're attracted to someone, Taurus, and you need to make the effort. That's what they want you to do. Virgo, maybe there's someone that you're flirting with or someone's flirting with somebody, but it's like you can't control how this plays out. It's going to happen how the universe wants it to. And maybe you want this person to make the effort too. Capricorn, it's safe for you to love and forgiving and learning. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments because you have to open your heart to receive love, correct? And you have to be physically open <laughs> as well as spiritually open to the things that you genuinely want in your life. But you do need to release the past because that's fucking you up. And healing is huge here because I feel like your guides are with you. They're trying to guide you. They're trying to be here for you. But it's like you're so focused on something that happened before that you can't really wrap your brain around something good happening to you even though it's good and you want to control your emotions control the situation but you can't because there's a whole lot of passion too here for somebody it's like these emotions are really intense for you guys so that's all i have for my earth signs have a good night